Unlike Graham, Peggy Palmer has normal vision. She should be able to copy this star easily. I'll never get this star, I hope you said this. But something odd is happening. One whole side of the star is missing. Peggy has a condition called visual neglect. Although her eyesight is fine, half of her visual world no longer seems to matter. Ten years ago, Peggy suffered a stroke in the parietal lobes of her brain. The parietal lobes are concerned mainly with creating a three-dimensional representation of the spatial layout of the world, allowing a person to walk around, to navigate, to avoid bumping into things. When the right parietal is damaged, the patient is unable to deal with the left side of the world. This condition has fascinated neurologists for more than a century because it reveals not only how the brain shapes the way we perceive space in the present, it even determines the spatial look of our memories. This became apparent when Peggy was asked to draw a daisy from memory. Right. A daisy it shall be. For neuropsychologist Peter Halligan, Peggy's drawings reveal exactly what's gone wrong. It's like a radar system whereby the actual radar system on the left-hand side is no longer working well. If someone comes in on my left-hand side now, or I hear a sound, my eyes will immediately move to the left-hand side. That makes me, for evolutionary purposes, very aware of my environment. Because if I wasn't aware of those things, I'd have accidents. i get hurt, or I might get eaten by wild animals and whatever. Now, in Peggy's case, she will not attend to those things that we would normally be aware of. Peggy thinks she's drawn her daisies right, until it's pointed out to her. You've noticed that, have you? Oh, dear. So what Peggy's drawn for us is several nice daisies with the left side missing. Same with this one, and this one. And look at this one, this is a very good example. I've well, done it on all of them. <laughs> Which means that she's not only neglecting events in the world, but when she conjures up a mental image, she's ignoring the left side of that mental image. Well, I thought I was going all the way around, you see. And this shows you that this is not simply a sensory problem, but mm. a problem of consciousness. I don't know. It's because I was so concentrating on that side, it takes everything away, you see. It's his attention, really. It's taken, it's taken away. This, there must be two attentions somewhere in your body that one side's taking the other one away. I can't make it out at all. Very odd. <laughs>